Pulitzer Prize winner Susan Faludi wrote The Terror Dream because she wanted to understand what happened to us as a culture after 9-11. Her answer is that led by the media and self-serving politicians, we chose delusion based on false myths. Ms. Faludi says it's dangerous to live in a dream. I wanted to know how we can wake up and move on. Well, we could start by heeding some of the people who did wake up and, and uh, demanded competent leadership, demanded a reckoning, demanded an accounting. Look, for example, at the Jersey Girls. Um, it was a, a group of women whose husbands had died in the World Trade Center. Um, and, uh, you know, after 9-11, there was all, uh, along with the firefighters being the heroes, the victims, quote unquote, um, presented in the media were um, over and over the 9-11 widows, particularly if they behaved like helpless homemakers and um, went on, uh, you know, Larry King Live and other shows and said that, uh, no, of course the government's doing everything and I trust the government. But not uh, the widowers. Right, yes, no, it was, uh, <laughs> the widowers were um, not uh, presented as, uh, there, there were very few articles that even, or in very few talk shows that, that featured them, uh, because the victim must be this particular kind of frail woman. Um, uh, but the minute that um, the widows began to challenge um, the party line, um, they were denounced. The Jersey Girls uh, demanded that um, the government explain their, the decisions and missteps that led up to 9-11. They almost single-handedly forced the creation of the 9-11 Commission. Uh, they should have been honored for their patriotic service. Instead, um, uh, government officials told them basically to shut up and, and quote-unquote trust the government. Uh, and the conservative media went wild, uh, calling them, uh, you know, hysterics, uh, quote unquote, rock stars of grief. Uh, they were swift boated, accused falsely of taking money from the Teresa Hines uh, Foundation, uh, and were told to keep their mouths closed. So was, we shouldn't keep our mouths closed. Well, as one of, as uh, Kristen Breitweiser, one of the um, uh, Jersey Girls uh, said in her in her book uh, several years after this, and, and she ended it on a very mournful, melancholy note. Um, uh, she said, you know, I, I, I feel like Americans just refuse to confront the truth. And that's where we must start. We, we have to begin to deal with the real world, even when we don't like that, and even when it does not fit our, our mythic notions of how we should be as a people.